Hey there, welcome back to another new video. So in this video, we are going to review another custom ROM for Redmi Note 8. So I have been using Evolution X ROM for past six months and in the last few days I have been facing few issues with that ROM. Usually I don't really use custom ROM for very long time because custom ROM has some issue with long time usage. If you use for few weeks or months, you will have few issue with the ROM. But in that case, Evolution X were really great. I have been using like six months and it was really great but if, after uh, facing few issues i just resetted the device and it was working just fine but now i have changed to a new rom so i have been using graphics rom uh, for a very long time and then i have switched to evolution x now i have installed the latest version of diffus rom again to try it out so let's go and check out what's going on with this in this rom so the lock skin and everything are very similar to typical Android 13 based ROM. So there is nothing new, no extra, nothing. Everything is similar to Evolution X or other Android 13 based ROM. So if you like the fingerprint and everything's working just fine, it's really fast and fluent. Also, you can uh, set up your face unlock feature, which is not really great in low light. If you have plenty of light, it will work just fine, but not, not really useful that much. So let's go and check what we are getting with this ROM. So if an about phone, as you can see, a Drift ROM, Android 13, and we have our security patch level is October 5, 2023. So this is a latest version of it, which released uh, two weeks ago. And I have installed, I've been using this for, a, I think, four or five days now. After reviewing the Evolution X ROM, I just installed this and trying it out. And frankly said, this ROM is actually good. So. Uh, previously when I tried Dreyfus ROM it was good at the time too but I have faced few issues which actually are very annoying but in this case this ROM this build is really great so I have faced few issues which I will be talking about rather than that it's a perfect ROM actually so going with the application chart so there is not much a lot of apps comes with this ROM actually few apps uh, Google apps and other things most of the and you are seeing here a lot of apps because I have um, restored all the apps from my previous ROM so I always do that like I just back up my application with data and just restore them because I don't really want to log into my Facebook and other things again and again so just restore them and then they, they comes with data but in this ROM I have faced few issue with the application part so some of the apps actually not working properly after restoring with the data I have to clear the data after that those are working just fine mainly camera I have faced issue with the camera app but now they are working just fine if you open the camera app it's fast and fluent you'll ha not have any kind of issue with camera and also this ROM comes with MIUI camera which works really well here 48 megapixel work fine if you go with video just work fine and also if you want to take micro photo works really great so you will not have any kind of issue with this ROM actually and also if you want to use wide angle camera that also working just fine as you can see here so everything is working just fine in depart camera department you will not have any kind of issue so now comes to performance department so if you if you think that the ROM is actually quite fluent it works really great you will not have any kind of issue like that like uh, slowing down or anything like that but uh, it could be much better like in evolution x the fluidity is much better on that rom but that rom also have few bugs if you are using a custom rom the bugs are expected but in this case uh, if you are using stock rom on your miui you will have much more bugs than this kind of rom custom rom provide much better experience than miui rom in my uh, experience so if you are using any kind of MIUI ROM, it's better to switch to custom ROM if you have if you not have any kind of issue with like using bank cap and other things because I don't really recommend anyone to use any kind of bank caps in custom ROMs. It's not really secured that much. And in going with the application part, there are nothing much actually. There is a new app which is Symphony maybe. So here we have a Symphony which actually comes with all the uh, um, like if you want to listen music you can use this one just a music player which is very similar to retro music player which I usually use as you can see a retro music player so this one is similar to the one just I have opened so retro music player is the player which I use and mostly I use actually another music player which is Vi music player this is an online music player it's sorts of work like a uh, Spotify or Google's something there is something Google's one which 
can you can listen audio music so there is that one so i use bi music player which is ad free and everything free you can't find this app in play store you have to directly download it from the um, google so it just works fine that's why i use that one rather than that if i go with the safety net as you can see safety net is filled in this device actually this rom this rom is comes with safety net past but if you install like magic and other things that time it, the safety net will fail and you cannot use any kind of bank apps but anyway as i said this, these roms are not really secure for using bank apps if you don't really uh even if you inst not install magic still it's not really secure rather than that everything working just fine and volume buttons up buttons down buttons everything it's there is no slowing or lagging anything like that as i said there is a little bit issue with smoothness but it's still it's just fine and if you go to hotspot option so hotspot and tethering so you can inst you can enable 5 gigahertz band from here so you can share your data in 5 gigahertz band which is also really good uh, in evolution x this feature is mu missing but in this case it's working just fine and also this rom actually comes with bolt so if i disconnect this 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 uh the sim here actually is not for making phone calls it's a internet based sim sim so it will not show bolt but this this uh, rom does support bolt too so you will not have an issue with bolt and everything working just fine so now comes to the issue part so if i talking about the issues everything is working fine battery backup is everything fine and is, there is actually not much issue there is only one minor bug i have found is that sometime if you pull the notification panel it stuck there you if you, you cannot close that if, if you want to close that sometime you have to drag the notification panel few times then it will work or you have to just lock your device and unlock it and it will work just fine in in that way so rather than that i haven't faced any kind of issue anything to do with ui or not to use this rom and it's a really great rom i would say it's much better than evolution x because evolution x is having few issues and one of the most annoying um, problem with evolution x that evolution x uh, has problem with a uh, notification latency so if you are using like messenger or anything if you put two devices together you will see that evolution if you are using evolution x it will get notification later it's I don't know why it's going on with that ROM but it is there but in this ROM I haven't faced that kind of issue and this ROM is working really great and there are few things which I haven't mentioned about battery if we go to the battery section here so we have our battery temperature you can block all the sensor you can do battery optimization and you can go to charging control you can limit the charging up to 90% or whatever you can schedule the charging so those features are there which is really nice and also if you want to do some ui customization those things also here so you, you can change everything from here most of the things are available like the roms and if we go to show me parts option also you can calibrate your display so as you can see i have already calibrated display and i haven't faced any kind of skin retention issue after calibrating the display so if you are using this rom obviously go and here and just calibrate your display you can use my setting 230 230 230 or you can use your own whatever whatever you like and everything is working fine as you can see i haven't faced any kind of issue rather than the notification panel so if you really want to install this rom i will put the link in the description below you can download it from there and flash it so that's all about this rom thank you very much for watching and i will see you next time Thank you.